Okay, let's do some math. We're going to find the linearization L of X, Y of this function at one comma zero. And so basically what that does is it approximates this function whenever uh, our ordered pair is close to one zero. It's also called the tangent line approximation. So the formula is the following. It's L of X, Y. It's equal to F of AB, where A comma B is our point plus the partial with respect to x at ab times x minus a plus the partial with respect to y at ab times y minus b. So this is the formula we're going to use in this problem. Recall if you have 10 inverse, by the way, of say u and you take the derivative, it's one over one plus u squared. So we're gonna use this formula as well. However, in this problem, it's not just u, it's x plus 2y, so we will have to use the chain rule. All right, so let's find the partial with respect to x. So it's going to be 1 over 1 plus x plus 2y squared times the derivative of the inside function. So this is a partial with respect to x, so all of the y's are constants. So this derivative will be 0, the derivative of x is 1. So we simply have one over one plus x plus two y squared. All right, let's find the partial with respect to y. Same thing, one over one plus quantity x plus two y squared times the derivative of the inside. So in this particular case, um, we're looking for the derivative with respect to y. So the derivative of x is zero, there's a two y here. So its derivative is just gonna be two. This is two over one plus x plus two y squared. All right, let's plug everything in now. Our point here is one comma zero. That's our a and our b. So fx at one zero, it's gonna be one over one plus. So x is one, y is zero. So it's just one squared, which is one. So we just get one half. And then f sub y at one zero same thing, there's a two up top though. So it's one plus one. All right, because it's the same thing. So it's x is one, y is zero. So you just get one squared, which is one. So you get two over two, so you get one. We also need um, the function value at that point. So let's find that. So this one's also pretty easy. So our function's up here. So basically it'll be tan inverse or arc 10 of one plus zero. This is tan inverse of one, which is just pi over four. Okay, so now let's go ahead and write it out. L of x, y is equal to pi over four. Right, that's our f of one, zero, pi over four. Um, plus, and then this one, fx, we know that's gonna be um, one half times x minus a, so x minus one. Okay, that's x minus a. And then f y y minus b, so that's going to be um, f y is one, and then y minus zero. Okay, so just using uh, the formula you see up here, okay, and down here. So we can distribute now and clean this up. This is pi over four plus one half x minus one half plus y. So cleaning it up a little bit more the linearization or the tangent line approximation to our function at one comma zero would be one half x plus y plus pi over four minus one half. And that would be the final answer. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.